What's going on, sim racers? If you guys are anything like me, you love sim racing, but you don't love the costs associated with it. So anything that I can do to DIY or build on a budget, I'll definitely do. As you can see by this rig around me, I have this built around a desk, two by fours. Uh, my TVs are all from Walmart. Uh, this was definitely done on a budget. And since I've gotten out of VR and converted to triples, one thing I've really been looking for is a good button box, but it's also at the same time something I've not been willing to spend a lot of money on. So DIY to the rescue and I present to you the $15 button box. That's right, the $15 button box. Has all the capabilities of a regular button box at one tenth of the price. Uh, so how did I do this? This is actually pretty simple. Um, I'll show you guys the link here on Amazon. This is nothing more than a Bluetooth uh, keyboard keypad. So what I did was just buy a basic Bluetooth wireless keypad. Yeah, wireless is a bonus too. You can mount it anywhere on your rig. Um, I've got it right down by my shifter. Um, and then I just basically made icons in Photoshop, printed them on my home printer. And if, if you guys need any icons, feel free to reach out and I can send you some to print on your own. And then all I did was literally glue these straight on there and this works every bit as good as a good as a regular button box i can do my tcs settings brake bias settings uh and to be honest one of my guiltiest pleasures now is having ignition and engine start and stop so i can fire up the motor and i racing and feel the rumble as dumb as that sounds that somehow adds a little bit of immersion to me if you guys want to order this for yourself super easy to set up um, here's the page in iRacing you would go to to custom map the buttons. All you do is click the uh, setting you want and then click the button on your keypad. Set. Same with the Seto Corsa. Go into your control settings, click the option you want it to do, hit the button on the keypad, and voila, you have yourself a $15 button box. And that's it. I'm curious if you guys have done anything like this on your own, if you had any DIY button boxes or if you guys found one that work a little bit better. Uh, my only gripe would be that these buttons are a little bit on the small side, but with how close everything is to me, I haven't had a problem. So uh, if you guys have built any DIYs or if you guys have done this yourself, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know how you like it. Or if there is a better button box out there that's still a good price, let me know if you run that as well. Always curious to see what people are doing and uh, sim racing community is one of the most creative problem solving communities I've ever been a part of. I love it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.